Hello everyone, and welcome back to Skyrim Anniversary Edition Purchased Items Only, where last time we did a bunch of speech training, and we're now up to, not 55, 45, but that is, that is like only five levels until Revan Sadri has taught us as much as we can learn, and looking at our level thingy, yeah, we don't have much left, so we literally just need to level up a skill, and then we can get like five more levels. Uh, I was gonna say we'll go out and fight something, but Destruction's a long way off. I do want to level up Destruction, to be fair. Conjuration's not a million miles away. Uh, ooh, Smithing's very close. I mean, it won't give me much XP going from 15 to 16 in a skill, but it's still noteworthy. Yeah, okay, it looks like I need to go out and level up. After a bit of searching through the journal, I found there's two quests kind of nearby. There's Investigating Traitor's Post, and there's Following the Caravan's Trail. Uh, I'm probably going to die doing these, but it'll be fun. Up over here we have Traitor's Post, and I've done a quick save, because I'm pretty certain I'll die in this fight. Like, I've taken on these enemies in the past, and they're incredibly tough. Uh, I've dealt with them at high levels, and it's fine, but at low levels, I've never, yeah, never been okay. So, what I want to do is kind of try and draw them out, which... Oh, oh dear. Which, yeah, it looks like I've done. However, oh, what? Are, oh, there's ice wraiths over there. Well, that ain't too good. Oh no. There's more than, yeah, there's more than just the bandits. Now I'm stuck between bandits and ice wraiths, and I doubt I can get them to go for each other. Oh, they can go for me, though. Alright. Uh, jump. Oh, I'm getting cold, which is not good. Ow. Here, I'm just going to have to hope I can heal and get out of here this way. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Alright, ow! Oh, look at that fire damage. Okay, well it's heating me up a bit, actually. That's not the worst thing in the world. Alright, what I want to do is... Ow, is survive. I just want to survive at this point. Oh, I got colder. Oh, this is not good. The cold is what's going to get me. Because, yeah, that reduction in health really screws me over. Although... There's one bandit down. Oh, and then there's ice wraiths over there. You know what? I've done another quick save, because that's probably as good as this is going to go. I'm pretty sure the bandits and the ice race are fighting each other. You've got no gold on you. Okay. I guess I'm just going to wait for them. Because, yeah, there are only two ice reefs and I see three red dots. So I'm going to back up some ways, hopefully get another level in sneak, and let them deal with each other for a bit. I've just hit freezing, which is worrying for if I need to fight. And yeah, this Ice Wraith and this Bandit are just going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. They've, they've been locked in combat for at least a minute now. Oh, he's switching back to his bow. Uh, I, I'm shocked neither one has won yet, but I'm hoping they're making each of them very weak, because then I might just be able to, like, blast them with a couple of bolts and kill them both, or kill whichever one survives. Oh, that's a victory. And now... Come on. Yes! Oh, it worked. I've got... Oh, no! Oh, no, I've got, like, no health and there's still an archer somewhere. Oh, where's the archer? I don't even get a red dot. Oh, is it... Oh, it's you! You who has the uh, actual quest icon. Oh, dear. If you... Yeah, if you hit me, I might be done for. Okay, that's a bit of damage with a slight hit. Oh, I do not have... Oh! Oh, damn. Okay, I need to fully heal up before I'm hit again. Okay, wow, that... Yeah, that lack of health is screwing me big time. Oh, the cold. Why does it have to be cold here? Oh, and you're coming after me. I'm not going to regen much magic, or am I? And you're just going to... Yep, you're going to hit me. Come on, hit. No, I missed. Oh, I can't afford to be missing these shots, but I also need to kill you. Ow, oh, before you get me. Oh, please don't say you can hit me behind the tree. Hey, restoration went up. Isn't that nice? Oh, boy. Oh, this is bad. 
Oh, yes, yes, yes. Come on, die. Oh, yes. Oh, that was a tough fight. But I leveled up and I killed them. And you have... Okay, a letter and a journal. Um, I'm going to have to read these, aren't I? Okay, retrieve the Ring of Massa. Which... This ring is a quest item, I believe. Oh, the ice rocks aren't going to have gold on them. Um, so... Hmm. What I'm going to do... Oh, 152 gold, lovely. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up the ring. Oh, I'm going to stand in the fire. I'm going to stand in the fire before anything else. Oh, lovely fire, please warm me up. Please. Yes, the warm me up symbol. Okay, I'm just going to chill in the fire for a bit. Then, uh, actually, he's right here. Yeah, so 10 gold I can definitely take. This ring, now I won't be able to use it, but what I'm going to do is pick it up, and if it lets me drop it, then I can't turn it in, because it's then not marked as a quest item. However, if it is a quest item, I won't be able to drop it, and da, 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 da. Oh, I'm only going to get... Yeah, quest item. Okay, so I'm not going to use it, because it's a quest item and that'll feel cheap. But I now have the objective to return it to the Khajiit, I believe? Who are... Oh! Oh, over there. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to warm up, and then I'm going to head that way. Before I do head off that way, I want to check out... Oh, is there still a nice... There's still a nice wraith there. I think there's still a nice wraith there. Yes, there it is. I can just about see it. Oh, yep, and now my health's already taking a hit. How is... Okay, none of this is hitting you. What are you fighting? I'm not sure any of my shots have hit, but you're clearly fighting... Oh, you're fighting bone hounds. Or bone wolves, sorry. Hmm. Well, that's not great, because both of those are nasty. But I suppose what I can do is that. And then I can run off over this way. Because, yeah, what's-his-face the wanderer is over here. Who I... I swear I've bumped into him, like, several times this series. The Ice Reef, yep, the Ice Reef does want to follow me. Lovely. Hey, Mr. Wanderer, you want to maybe go fight that for me? Yeah, you do. Perfect, he's even arming himself a bit. If he dies, that's honestly not the worst thing. The Ice Reef's only, like, a couple of spells from death, so this will just give me time to recharge the Magicka, and should be all good. Although I've got, I'm have got, i pretty confident he'll win. I've never actually seen Sigal? Talscar? I don't know how you say his name. I've never seen the Wanderer lose a fight. I'm not even sure if he can die. Oh, dang. He might not be able to die, but he did just go down. Hmm. The Ice Reef is like a hit away? That's it. Come closer. Perfect. <laughs> Had to wait until it was after out of a uh, blast range, so I didn't get any friendly fire. Good work, buddy. Hello there, friend. Now, lucky for you to chance upon a bard on the road. I really was lucky. Alright, I'm going to check out this place to see what gold I can get. Because I'm already up to 6661, which is nice. Found myself a chest and 28 gold! Which is good, because I broke like three lockpicks <laughs> doing all that. Um, yeah, that's all there was in here though. Nothing of real note. Uh, it is a... this place is like a monument to those who fled Dunmer after Bread Mountain, which is a fun little thing. But uh, yeah, now I'm just going to run towards quest markers. And also stop by the house again and heat up, because look at my poor, poor health bar. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, buddy. No, no, no. Wait, am I actually going to be able to... Okay, I might be able to outrun this thief. Uh, I'm just going to run away from the thief for a bit. Well, I suppose I could attack them. Yeah, let's give it a go. All right, hand over your valuables, or I'll gut you like a fish. Yeah, okay, how about... You know what? Walk away. Nice try, but you don't scare me. I'm not gonna ask again. Uh, I don't have time for this. Don't you walk away from me. Never should have come here. Oh, I hope you don't do too much damage. I hope you take plenty. Oh yeah, that's not bad. Oh, you do deal a bit more damage than I'd like. But it's fine, because I can... Oh! Oh, I can die. I can... I'm really gonna die from this. Oh, this is not good. Okay. Nope. Okay. Ooh, kill cam kills at close range are scary. Because I always assume I'm going to be the one dying. Alright, Thief is... Six gold. Thief is dead and we only had six gold on them. Great. Ooh, 
dear. This is... Oh, this is real bad. Oh, I didn't think an ice wolf was that strong. I didn't even start talking at the beginning of that fight because I figured, eh, whatever, it's just an ice wolf. But, oh man, yeah, this is... It's too cold over here. It's just flat out too cold. Like, this is where I'm trying to go. Oh, and there's one over there as well. Okay, they're moving further away. The caravan's trail, I mean... It's not that far, but clearly I need a higher warmth rating. Because look at my poor health bar. And it's still going down. Yeah, warmth of 71 is not enough. I'm going back. I'm going to go back to the inn and I'm going to warm up. I need warmer gear before I do any like proper quests up in the cold north. <laughs> Look at how slow I am as well. Oh, it's horrible. I definitely made the right choice in coming back. Look at how tiny my actual health bar is. I'm at like a quarter health is that? No, it's probably 70% off. Let's, let's check on me coldness. Uh, oh, it just tells you health is reduced. But yeah, moving 30% slower as well, not particularly nice. Um, but yeah, I imagine that's got to be like... That, that's so much health lost. That's, wait, I can check in health, can't I? Day? I'm at 22 health. That's not good. That's like one hit from basically anything would kill me. Time to level up. And... Hmm... I'm torn between Magicka and health. I think I'm going to go once more into Magicka. But after that, I'm going to start going for health. Because, yeah, my magic pool's pretty high. Could do with being a bit higher. But, um, yeah, it's not too bad. Also, yeah, look at that. Fight five perk points. Jeez, that's actually quite a lot. Five perk points. And did I get... Yeah, I got Mystic Binding, didn't I? I can get Soul Stealer. I can get Soul Stealer. That could be really good. Okay, I'm going to hold off for now, but that's one to keep an eye on. Restoration at 30 should mean, yeah, regeneration. I'm going to pick that up, just heal me better. And recovery rank 1, Magicka regens 25% faster. Both good things for me to have. Um, I don't think I'm going to worry about any others for the time being. Those are some good perks to be picking up. And I got... Yeah, oh, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I got real lucky and my bed was still... um. I hate this bard. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop them, no matter what. What are you doing? No, get, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Uh, I've been called out for this, but I really can't stand the bards in Skyrim. They're so loud, so damn loud. Lovely stuff. All right, looks like some inventories in the shops have reset, so I'm gonna be buying, yeah, just anything that will make me a bit of a profit. So I can craft up some more potions. Wow, you've actually got quite a variety of stuff here, haven't you? Perfect. This should also... Uh, I've got the gift of charity, I should mention that. Hopefully buying this stuff will also give me a level in speech. Because I know I'm not far off it. I've made a bunch of potions. I'm selling them back to Norelion. Oh, my speech still hasn't gone up. I've got over seven grand now, but my speech level's got to be... Look at that. Alright, I'm running low on food as well, so I'm going to see if I can buy a bit more food and also any more ingredients just in the general market. I'm going to try something a little risky as well. <laughs> Buying lesser soul gem. Oh, you're only selling one for real? Uh, I mean, I'll buy the... Should I buy the second one? This could cost me so much. There we go. Okay, speech has gone up. That's Thank what I wanted. That's, um... That's cost me a little bit more than I wanted. But did I get the Conjuration level up? Uh, why am I spinning around this way? This is the wrong way, Sarge, you idiot. Uh, I didn't. Okay, I'm gonna get Soul Stealer. This way, the Soul Gems I have, which are... Oh, I've got four petties, two lessers. The lessers might have been a mistake. I can now Soul Trap with my bound weapon. Which is just a bound sword. But that could potentially earn me a profit. If I can sell filled lesser soul gems for more than 50 gold, I will be making a profit on those transactions. The petty ones I'm pretty confident will make a profit, I think, I hope, we'll find out together I guess. But for now, something guaranteed is the speech training. Here we go, so it's going to cost me a bit, but one level up, two level ups, three level ups, four level ups, and... 
he can't level me up any further. This is the final kind of cheap trainer, uh, or cheap training level, is 50 to 51. 51 above will start costing him the thousands for every single one. So that is our easy training. But we're now up to speech level 50, which is brilliant. Uh, I will see what he's Some got for sale as junk. well. Me, I call them treasures. Yeah, because he's got, oh, expensive stuff. Yeah, I don't want any of that. Good to see oh, you. do you sell Some any soul gems? Me, I call them he's got, treasures. look at all that gold he's got now. Oh, man. How much is a lesser soul? Uh, petty soul gem is, oh, okay, it's only 18 gold. And how much would I sell them for? If I can sell that for more than 18 gold, that's brilliant. That really will help. And yeah, the the, the big ones, obviously, I'm not going to buy. Although, oh, he's a dude. It's cheaper to buy from dudes, isn't it? Oh, I forget about that. All right, well, in regards to the speech perks, I also should go and pick up Merchant can sell any type of item to any kind of merchant. I love this, it's a great perk, but more importantly for me, it means uh, that there should be new oh, things spawning in the merchant's inventories. I don't think it's gonna, yeah, it's not gonna happen instantly, but now, oh, you're that was a creepy me. smile. But in the future, there should be more items available, including some alchemy items I really want. Oh man, the, the flower girl. She's great. Look at this. I get lavender, nightshade, and free purple mountain flowers. Oh, she also sells flower baskets, but they're Thanks. overpriced. Thanks for yeah, talking to me. no worries, kid. All right. Um, now my big problem is I need so much gold. I'm back down to like under 5k, and I'm gonna want to do a lot of speech training in terms of leveling. So I need to make a ton of money. There's the farm, which hopefully is making some cash. Uh, yeah, off over this way, Golden Hill Plantations, hopefully doing well. But I still don't know if my steward will actually give me gold or how that's all going to work. I'll probably test that out next episode after there's been some more comments instructing me on what to do. What I'm thinking for now is head to Fork Reef, because I have... Uh, not that one, we'll worry about that later. Although I will keep it on. I have a couple of quests down here. Oh, there's so many quests. I've got so, so many quests. Oh, look, look at all these quests. This is terrible. Where is it? Uh, not that one. Not that one. No? No? Okay. I know there's a couple of quests around here. One of them is to go to the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary. So I'm going to pop outside to Windhelm Stables, and I'll be spending 50 gold to head to Fulk Reef. Made it to Fulk Reef. Immediately being told to keep my eye out for a dog and to speak to the blacksmith about it. Oh, do you? I think you have a delivery quest for me, don't you? Ghost is responsible for the. Do you tell Miss Graveyard Ghost alone? Perfect. Oh no. Okay, that doesn't do it. There are delivery quests, although I've shown up. I've shown up at midnight, which is not great because no one's going to be up and about. I do think I'll chat to the Yarl though, because he'll have a quest for me, and should be fine with being woken up in the middle of the night. Yes. What is it that you want? Lovely. So yes, I got a letter from your old Sid Gear. I got your letter. I'm Goldilocks. Ah, it's you. Yes. Well, now we'll see if the stories about you are true. There's a group of bandits in my hold that I may have had a few discreet dealings with. The cut they were giving me was good at first, but now, now it's time to clean things up. Go and take care of it. Sure thing. Good. Cool. So yep. Execute uh, every last oh, that is there that is so way. easy. It's given me Ember Shard Mine. That is genuinely the easiest location it's possible to give. Oh, so are you? Oh, lovely. I'm allowed to just take that gold. I'm actually allowed to take a lot of this stuff. That's well, I'm not allowed to because of the challenge rules. But the gold I was allowed to take. That's quite nice. Yeah. Now I can head over to Ember Shard Mine at some point and just wipe out the bandits there and make quite a nice profit from it. That's that's brilliant. I'm also allowed to sleep with the Jarl. And seeing as this opportunity doesn't arise very often, let's do it. Lovely stuff. Good Morning, Sidgear. Finally someone useful is around. Yeah, good to see you too. Lovely sharing a bed with you. There's a couple of things I also want to do in the village. There uh, should be some delivery quests. The alchemist's obvious stop. But first off, let's speak to Lod. Did you see a hound on the road? 
fine, strong creature that's been wandering near town? Sorry, I did not. There's one out on the road. I can't afford to chase him down, but I could use a fierce, loyal beast to keep me company. If you are willing to retrieve him for me, I'd give you some fresh meat to attract him out on the road. I could be convinced to catch him. Oh, it's a smart man to demand something up front for his work. Some gold now, and some when I have my dog. Here's the meat. Perfect, Matt gets us 25 gold and some fresh meat. Drop. I hope he doesn't think I'm not going to do the job just because I dropped the fresh meat right in front of him. Down to Zarya the Alchemist, and oh, she's got a lot of stuff. I mean, obviously tons of potions, but yeah, a lot of food, and ingredient-wise, am I going to see... Okay, I'm seeing a lot of good stuff here. There's only one... I think it's large antlers is the only thing I can fully remember. Oh, nope, here's another one. This I need this, don't I? I'm checking my list, I'm checking my list. Yes, Wisp Wrappings is now sold by merchants. And it's super cheap, despite literally coming from, like, ghosts, basically. And it gets a carry weight potion from it. So I'm going on a bit of a spending spree. I'm um, also going to check, what look at miscellaneous. Oh, you sell a lockpick. Okay, yeah, I'm buying a bunch of stuff here. I now have a boatload of ingredients. Lost a fair bit of ca uh, caps, I was about to say cash. This isn't Fallout. Uh, I think I've got too many salt pile at this point. I should probably stop buying salt pile for a while, because I am just stockpiling it now. But lovely, some new ingredients which I haven't used before, but which are now for sale. This is all good stuff. Haven't been able to pick up too many more quests. There's specifically a quest to deliver some ashes, but none of the people who I thought were involved have given it to me. Uh, I'm going to spend a bit on some food, because yeah, I was getting quite low, and a lot of this is not that expensive. Yeah, that's alright. And not more salt pile, Sarge. You've learnt your lesson. You Come on. Alright, I think it's time for me to leave Fort Grief. And where I'm headed is the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary. What is the music of life? Silence, my brother. Welcome home. In we go, and it's time to have a chat with Astrid. Oh, where? I thought she was always standing here. Oh no, she's there. She's there. Perfect. And is this... Oh yeah, things are able to be taken, so hopefully there's cash lying around. Ah, that'd be great if there is. Ah, oh, at last. I hope you found the place alright. Uh, what happens now? Well, what happens now is you start your new life in the Dark Brotherhood. You're part of the family, after all. This, as you can see, is our sanctuary. You won't find a safer place in all of Skyrim. So get comfortable. Okay, when do I get to kill someone? <laughs> Soon, my dearest. Soon. I'm arranging a job for you, but I need some more time. For now, go talk to Nazir. He may have some smaller contracts to tide you over. Soon, the Night Mother will arrive. And things around here are sure to get even more interesting. Ah, uh, but one last thing. A welcome home present. The armor of the Dark Brotherhood. May it serve you well in all your endeavors. Lovely. So that armor is not a quest I wait. Be sure and introduce yourself to your is not a quest item and hasn't actually been added. <laughs> oh there we go. Now it's been added. Oh, I was too soon. Yeah, so Still can't drop that, but yeah, I can drop this stuff. So as much as I'd love to use it, oh, it really would be great. Uh, I'm just, I'm just not allowed to. Not allowed to. I've just gone around the entire sanctuary and got a little bit more gold. It was probably like less than a hundred gold laying about, which is a shame. I guess I'm actually going to have to kill people to make money. So you're the newest member of our dwindling, dysfunctional little family. I've heard quite a bit about you. Pleasure to meet you. Save the niceties for now. I have no intention of getting invested in someone who may be dead tomorrow. If you're still breathing in a few weeks, I'm sure we'll be the best of friends. Yep, Astrid said you'd have some work for me. Did she now? 
Well, as it turns out, there are a few lingering contracts we haven't had the chance to complete just yet. And more, dribbling in from time to time. I'll assign them to you as they become available, to be completed at your leisure. Simple enough. It is. These aren't particularly glamorous assassinations, I'll be honest. Don't pay much either. But they'll keep you busy. Just do them as you're able. There's no real time limit. The targets aren't going anywhere. You can turn each one in as it's completed, or wait and turn in the whole group when all the targets have been eliminated. Whichever works for you. Perfect. So yes, I'm ready for the first set of contracts. Well then, let's get started. I've got three available right now. Your targets are the beggar Narfi, an ex-miller named Enodius Papias, and Baytild, a mine boss. When you've completed all those, we'll see if I might have some more. Excellent stuff. And there's going to be, yep, three separate contracts. Uh, scroll up to the top, please. Yep. Oh, yeah. Not that, not that, not that. Boom, boom, boom. And these will take me to Ivarstead, which we're not a million miles from, to, yeah, Agnes Mill, which I've actually been to recently. That's, I made it, like, that far this episode, but yeah, back there at some point. And also to Dawnstar, which I've not been to at all yet, so that's that's fun. I think that, is that the only hold I haven't been to? Oh no, I've not been to Winterhold either. Still, that's a few missions, which hopefully will pay reasonably well. I, I really hope they do. But for this episode, I think that's going to have to be it. Because I've been recording for a while, and I've done the most important thing, which is get the merchant perk means I should be able to buy better alchemy ingredients, make better potions, or more potions, sell them for a good profit, start making a bit of money. Got my fingers crossed the farm will work out, but I still don't really know about that, but we'll see. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, don't forget to subscribe, and as always, thank you very much for watching. Sarge out.